In this tutorial we're going to go over the Nexion display and we're going to cover fonts and pictures. As I've used the Nexion product I've decided that I've been doing the fonts a little wrong and the pictures a little bit wrong so I thought I would go ahead and do a tutorial on how I manage my fonts and pictures. In my documents I have a folder called Nexion and inside that folder I have fonts and pictures. What I will also do is every time I start a new project, I'll have another folder. And in this one, I'm going to call this one tutorial number two. All of my fonts will be stored in, in this folder right here, because you can use fonts over and over and over. In the past, I've always created my fonts for each individual project. But going forward, I'm planning on just using fonts that I create, create them once and label them correctly or save them in the correct format so they're easy to identify going forward. There are some pictures I'll be using over and over and over again for lots of projects and I'll store them in a pictures directory. Pictures that are individual to only a specific project, I'll probably create another pictures folder within the folder that I saved the uh, project. I'll go ahead and start a new project. Save it in my tutorial folder. For this one I'm using an enhanced display and the pixel count, which is important for pictures, is 240 by 400. I'm going to do a horizontal. Now we'll start with the fonts. I'll add a text down here. And then we go up to Tools, Font Generator. I'm going to have a little fun with this one and uh, not just use Arial, we're going to use Satisfy. And I want to see if I do something a little strange with the font, how it shows up on the display. So we're going to go ahead and make it rather large. I'm going to call this one Satisfy 160. And I'll always name them this way and I'll store them in that font directory so they'll be I'll be able to find them easily. So I pick fonts. And then I want to go ahead and add this to this project. And I have the wrong tab selected here. I need to go to fonts, and there it is. So then in this box here, I'm going to add some text. The font that you selected is zero, and if you look over here, the font ID is zero. So now I'll add the text. We'll just put hello. We'll go ahead and make it a color too, just for fun. Now, I want to see how this displays on the display, so I'm going to go ahead and send it. I'm going to upload it to the display. Okay, it's completed. I took a picture of the screen and I'll put it in the video about now. So now we'll exit out of here, and now we're going to add a picture. Now, down here, you need to go over to your pictures, and then you can add a picture by clicking this button. But the sample that I have in here, if I right click on it and I look at the properties, it's details 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels. Well the display is only 240 pixels so if we were to try and put that in there it doesn't, the Nexion doesn't compress it. It would try and fit it on there and that's not going to work. So we're going to go ahead and cancel and edit the picture. We're going to go ahead and use paint to resize it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to resize this still to a little bit bigger than what Nexion wants just in order to show you that it how it doesn't resize it. The Nexion display is 240 by 400, so if we make it a 250 pixel square, it should illustrate what I'm saying. We'll call it 
call this one sample two. We'll go back to here and now we'll add sample two into here. And you can see that it's here and it has an ID of zero. So if I add a picture right now, make its ID zero, it does automatically resize the window to the picture, but you can see that it overhangs a little bit. So if I go and I try to compile this now, it gives me an error, and that's because it's too big to fit in the box. We're going to go ahead and resize it one more time. make it 200 we'll save this one as 3 sample 3 close this okay so now this one's ID of 1 so if I just go to the picture here change it to 1, it made it smaller. So now if we just center that, and we go to compile, now we pass. So we'll go ahead and upload it. And I've taken a picture of that screen also and I'll add it. It did work. Another interesting thing is we were able to resize the image down, but what if you have a tiny image, can you bring it back up? So we're going to go back to paint, and we're going to make this even smaller. We're going to go ahead and make it 80 by 80. We're going to save it. is 4. Now, if we try to make this larger, what will happen? The size was 240, so let's try going 235. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. What you'll see is that it gets all pixelated. So when you're working with images on the Nexion display, make sure you get them larger than you need and then you shrink them down. Don't try to get smaller images and make them larger. It just doesn't work very well. If anyone's interested in, in hearing more about why that is, leave a comment in the bottom of the video and I'll create a video about that in the future. Otherwise, that's about it for this video. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.